hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is fred so this video is all about showing you how to draw a 2d orthographic projection such as this simple object um, drawn in two dimension you're looking at how we can convert this to an isometric 3d drawing using the box method so this video is about using the box method i'm going to show you step by step um, approach to projecting objects in this form using the box method so follow me step one so the first thing you do is you draw a horizontal line using thin lines so this entire process we're going to be making use of thin lines and i will tell you when exactly to use thick lines so you draw a horizontal line the next thing you do is you drop a perpendicular line using your 30 degrees 60 degrees set square you drop it at any convenient point on the horizontal line you've drawn then the next thing is you want to draw receding lines to the right and to the left now you can achieve this either using your 30 degree set square you use the 30 degree side or you can use, make use of a protractor so i assume you already know the basics of um, projecting object in isometric so that shouldn't be difficult for you to achieve at all then next step two now after you might have drawn um, all uh, both receding lines and the perpendicular the next thing you do is you measure 50 mm now we, we got our 50 mm from the drawing on your left the orthographic to the drawing so the height of the object actually is 50 mm and so you measure 50 mm on it then the receding line to the left measure um, 60 mm after doing so then you transfer a vertical line to the point where you measured 60 mm as you can see then do the same thing to the receding line to the right by measuring 20 mm this time around we are also getting this information this information can be gotten from the orthographic on your left hand side right so after measuring 20 mm now transfer a line to that point where you measure 20 a vertical line now you can use your set square and ruler to achieve uh, these lines that are to be transferred so all you have to do is to align your set square with the vertical line support with your ruler and do the transfer so the next step step three now you are done um, transferring all lines so measure 50 mm on all the vertical lines that you've transferred as you can see then the next thing you're going to do is transfer the 60 mm receding line up and connect the 50 mm vertical line as shown so you transfer the line in this form the 60 mm line using your what your set square 60 degrees set square and ruler then do the same thing to the 20 mm line transfer the line up in this form and that's it so we are progressing now the next the next step is the tra uh, transfer the 60 mm receding line to the top right as shown so this 60 mm line that you transferred initially you transfer it to the top right in this form using your set square and ruler ensure that you have a firm grip on the set square and ruler and uh, at no point in time should your hands uh, shake all right otherwise you go back realign and transfer then do the same thing to the 20 mm line you transfer to the top left as shown in this form so with this you are done with the isometric box drawing the object now becomes very very easy so if you have gotten up to this stage congratulations let us proceed to the next step so step five after you might have drawn the isometric box using thin lines now with thick lines you are going to do the following so you measure 50 now we are getting these dimensions from the orthographic on our left do not forget so measure 50 as shown and draw with thick lines the next thing you do is you measure 40 as shown all right using your ruler and draw thick lines 
Now measure 20 and draw thick lines as shown. Then on the top right, measure 50 as shown and draw with thick lines. Ensure that your measurements are precise. Then measure 10 mm as shown. Now on your ruler, 10 mm will be 1 cm, 50 mm will be 5 cm, 40 mm would be 4 cm and so on. So the next thing you're going to do is you measure 20 on the bottom right as you can see and uh, measure 10. Once you're done doing this, we move to the next step. So what we're going to do next in this step 6 is you're going to use your 30 degree, 60 degree set square and thin lines this time around, not thick lines. You transfer the following lines as shown. So transfer that line as you can see using your set square, your, your 60 30 degree set square, transfer to that point where you measured 40, then transfer also as you can see where you measured 10, you transfer that line there, thin line, just transfer and draw to a reasonable length of your choice, then transfer this line as well to that point using your set square and ruler and um, transfer this line up as you can see. Once you're done with that, remember there are thin lines, we move to the next step. So the next step is, uh, with thick lines now, we're going to measure and draw the following lines as shown. So measure 10 millimeter, that's one centimeter, um, on that line that you transferred initially, measure 10 millimeter also, then uh, at the bottom you measure 10 and measure another 10 as you can see then draw with thick lines as shown next step now with thick lines you're going to connect this part as shown so connect that part connect those two points together connect these two points and these two points as you can see now step 9 you will do the following so you transfer and draw thick lines to connect the following point as shown so you transfer lines or you may as well use your ruler to connect this point as shown connect these other points as you can see using thick lines and finally you connect this so once you're done with step 9 the next thing to do is to erase these um, extended lines that you transferred initially so you erase the lines you transferred initially and leaving your drawing in this form then finally you dimension the drawing so I believe you should know how to dimension already it's very very simple and um, by the time you do this you have your 2d drawing projected in 3d very very simple isn't it all right thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and um, like share and subscribe to this channel thank you very much for watching i'll come your way again do have a nice day bye